Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Lon Schiffbauer, and today we are talking about the value discipline strategies. So let's go ahead and jump right in. There are three of these, and the first one is operational excellence. As it says here, a focus on lean and efficient operations. The idea behind operational excellence is let's make the very best, highest quality product we can as effectively and efficiently and inexpensively as possible. Now, kind of the poster child for OpX, operational excellence, is Toyota. They did not invent operational excellence, but they really perfected it. And in turn, a lot of other automobile manufacturers adopted OpX. The idea is we want to create really, really awesome cars really consistently, efficiently, so that we can sell a high quality product at the lowest possible price. So companies that really kind of focus on OpEx, they are just absolutely taking Six Sigma and Lean to the max, right? Boy, do I sound like a kid from the 80s there or what? Nevertheless, do you see what I'm saying? The second value discipline strategy is product or innovation leadership. The idea here is to focus on providing a state-of-the-art product or service. Now, traditionally, Apple has been the poster child of product or innovation leadership. Frankly, personally, I think they've kind of lost this over the last 10 years. Ergo, I've used the old Apple logo, the one of my childhood. Back then, they were really all about product leadership. Today, I would say BMW is a great example here. Yes, they make cars like everyone else, but they are really manufacturing cars with an eye toward pushing innovation, pushing product leadership. Another great example would be Tesla. Sure, it's just a car, but the innovation inside that car is just absolutely extraordinary. So companies that really follow the value discipline strategy of product or innovation leadership are trying to appeal to a market base who are early adopters, who want the coolest, latest, greatest technology, and they're probably willing to pay a little bit more for it. Let's face it, you have to pay a lot more for an Apple, a BMW, or a Tesla than you do for, say, you know, a Dell or a Honda or what have you, okay? Because folks who are buying these products are looking for the technology and the awesomeness and the wow versus the low cost. Now, the third value discipline strategy is customer intimacy, a focus on delivering tailored products and services based on customer knowledge. Now, traditionally, the poster child for this had been Nordstrom's, Nordstrom's really, really tailors to the customer. The sales folks at Nordstrom take a little bit of time to get to know you. They speak with you. When are you going to wear this? And what conditions do you wear? What do you normally wear? What's your lifestyle? So that they can really tailor a product sort of solution or, or suggestion that really meets your needs. In the tech world of today, Amazon is a great example because they have all these algorithms and so forth that say, hey, you know what? Customers who bought what you just purchased also purchased these items. And you go, oh, yeah. And then you start to get product recommendations from Amazon that, you know what? More times than not are things that you might be interested in. That's because their algorithms and their big data allow them to really understand the customer at a, at a high level. And in fact, the very fact that you can get things the next day, if not the same day with Amazon, is because they already know what you are going to purchase. And so they have stocked their local fulfillment centers with all the things that you are likely to purchase. So yeah, they know you pretty darn well. So companies that are really focused on customer intimacy are willing to take that extra time to really deliver at an effective, efficient level what the customer is looking for. All right? So there you go. Those are the three value discipline strategies. 
you now have a competitive advantage because you know where you want to place your products and services in relation to the needs of your customers. All right? So thanks a lot for joining me. We'll talk again soon. And until then, have a fantastic day.